So the gym membership, um, bought a new pair of sweatpants, uh, pretty much played pool for a little bit, hung out, it's fine. You know, like, the beginning of high school, like freshman and sophomore year, I was kind of bullied a bunch because I was a little itty bitty scrawny dude and I didn't really like it, so I was like, you know what, let me start working out. And I started working out, didn't see results like right away. And I just started to realize that after time, working out really helped me gain a lot more confidence and boosted my self-esteem because I felt like, yeah, I look good. I should at least act like it. And just the feeling of knowing that I look good in my own skin made me feel a lot better. And I wasn't really scared of anyone anymore, if you would call it that. So let there be light. So the key. Say so anything's fun. Nice pair of underoos to get in the shower with. These are a fine cotton. 100%. Not too tight, not too loose. Very comfortable. Where are these made by? These are made by us. Haynes. First day back. Alright, you start. So, just packing a gym bag with the shoes, the vibrance. They're really comfortable because they keep my feet flat on the ground and they just feel a little better than our regular gym shoes, in my opinion. Uh, sweatpants, shirt, then I got a work shirt over here, because I'm going to work after, socks, got to keep the feet fresh, uh, pre-workout, super excited to try it, at the way by Venom, pretty cool. Energy drink. I got it from the expo. I don't really know what it is and I haven't tried it, but hopefully it's good. Protein bars. These are really good. I like them. Call killer. Donut. Can't go to the gym stinking. Spray. So, you know, smell good for the ladies. It's pretty much it for the bag. I think I'll just carry my shaker. So easy. Oh. Usually when I'm going to the gym, I just wear the pants and the shoes I'm going to wear because I go to work right after because that was, you know, it's less to carry. And I'm not working on my pants. So my pants don't have to worry about getting dirty. And then shoes are just shoes. Usually if I have less stuff, I carry the camel pack because I can carry all my water and stuff I need for the day. But today I'm probably going to carry the hydro flask. Need the keys. I really like bracelets. What you have to do when other people use your lotion because 
you buy lotion for yourself and for some reason it just gets depleted so fast just I don't know maybe there's lotion monsters that come around and take your lotion or maybe you just have a little sister that loves taking your lotion First time I actually like worked out, worked out was football practice. Like football practice, we would uh, first go to the field and then we come back and work out after in the weight room. And it was uh, it was always really intense. You know, high high intensity, high volume, heavy weights, and just going at it. And just a feeling of my muscles burning and my body screaming is just. It's made it feel great, but the very first time, it was terrifying. I didn't know what to do. Everyone else was lifting all heavy weights, and I go up to the bench, and <laughs> I put 25s on the side, <laughs> 25 plates on the side of the bar, and I get out of the bar, and I go to lift it, and it just comes crashing down on my neck, and I felt like a baby because everyone just looks at me, and they see my legs kicking up in the air, and I'm like just super... So we're confused because I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm about to die. And everyone's just laughing. It's so embarrassing. And after that, I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to put any weight on the bar. So I would just, you know, lift that 45 pound bar. And everyone would look at me and be like, wow, you're lifting just a little baby weight. And they walk up to the bar and start curling the bar. <laughs> and then it used to get to me. I used to be like, man, this sucks. So practice working out a little more. Did push ups when I got home. And. That was, uh, that was pretty much it. Well, the key to shaking it, you don't want to shake it up and down. You want to sink it. It's that sack. I don't know. I was told it when I used to shake it the first time. That was okay. I'll just do it from now on. Might make it look cooler, but I don't like it. Kind of everything that was going on at the time uh, was like really stressful. I mean, you could say more or less I went to a depression. It was really crappy, actually. It was just like so much that was going on. It just it made me not want to go to the gym, not want to you know take care of myself. Like I'd stopped eating for a short period of time. Like I would forget to eat, you know what I mean, I'd forget, wake up, forget to eat breakfast, or just go, like, a like, couple days without eating, and not even realize, and have to be reminded, like, Autumn used to remind me all the time, she'd be like, Jay, like, have you eaten, and I'm like, uh, no, she'd be like, you need to eat, and then I'd go eat, I stopped going to the gym, I wasn't working out, really, well, at all, actually, um, but, I don't know, it was just, there's just so much going on, that I kind of just fell off, like, I was at a point where I was working out three three times a day, you know what I mean? And to go to zero in like a matter of, of about a week, it, it kind of sucks. <laughs> and then looking back on it, it's kind of crazy because it's like, wow, like I really stopped working out for three months. You know what I mean? Didn't work out for three months straight when the entire summer all I did was work out. Leaving with the babies and the mama call a grave digger. Coming out of left field Ooh, I'm a rebel just for kicks now I 
First time I worked out with Keith was June 9th, 2014. Ah, listen to that. Yeah. Uh, I met a great guy. <laughs> Look at him. <clears throat> so I just finished my second workout of the day. Doing chest. Boom, 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 boom. Um, right now, I uh, stopped to get some food. But uh, got into a taco. It's Mexican food, you know, I really love Mexican food. We got the uh, carne asada fries. Pretty good. I love it. It's uh, my favorite thing to get. All right, so I had uh, just got done eating. So now I'm on my way home. Uh, the meal is actually pretty good. I really like the uh, carne asada fries. But uh, overall, <clears throat> the workout was pretty great. First workout, uh, first day back actually. Over three months I didn't work out. And today was the first day back. So it was super exciting to uh, get back in the gym. So I decided to do chest because I haven't done chest in a while. And even before the three months, like I really wouldn't even work out chest because chest is like my least favorite thing to work out. Throughout the day I just felt a lot better. My body felt good. Thought it looked good. So I was walking around, you know, chest all pumped up, feeling great. And uh, it felt pretty fun. Tomorrow is uh, going to be leg day, my favorite day of the week. Yeah, I know you're probably laughing. Like, oh, Keith has tiny calves. His favorite day of the week can't be uh, leg day. It, well, it is. Leg day is my favorite day. I can't, I can't uh, decide whether or not my calves want to grow. But I can make them grow. I keep working them out. Today, most of the day, I, uh, I slept, got up around 12 and uh, went to the gym, hit legs pretty hard today. That's why I'm drinking <laughs> salt water because I just cramped up pretty bad and almost felt like I was gonna die. If you're an athlete, you understand the struggle of um, Charlie horses, they're pretty bad. So I'm sipping on this terrible, terrible drink of salt water. I mean, my chest is still really sore from um, yesterday's workout. But that's like another reason why I don't work out chest because whenever I work out chest, my body some for some reason just stays sore for a while. It always like it'll be my chest super sore for like the first couple of days, and then the next week it'll be like going towards my lats and the ribs and all the meat up in there, and then my shoulder, my shoulders in there. God, that is just so bad. Oh. see myself getting back into working out you know what I mean getting back to where I was like well before I stopped I was at 205 pounds and my original goal was to get to 220 but since falling off I only got to 205 and that's where I felt like I, I felt pretty good but I know I, I could push my body a lot further than just 205 so I mean, the goal right now is to weigh myself and then find out where I want to be at. Like, if I'm above 200, then I'm going to keep going to 220. But if not, then I'm just going to work my way back up to 220. I mean, to 200 and see how that goes. And then from there, build goals to uh, get to that 220. Because the ultimate goal is 220, getting to 220 pounds. 
a good three sets of 10 reps with this. And then after that, I'll move up and wait and then do two more sets of 10. So that way I get a total of 50 reps. Well, for six months, I've kind of just been in and out of the gym, trying to go twice a day. I kind of stick with the same like workout intensity, I like it's high intensity, moderate weight. But right now, <laughs> I'm at 235 pounds. I'm still at six foot tall. 11% body fat. Physically, I gained a lot more weight, put on small muscle. Been in school, my grades got a lot better because I was focused a lot more. I just focused on me a whole lot more than the the people around me. You know what I mean, like I kind of wanted to make myself better before I wanted to make a bunch of friends. I kind of say my past. My past really hasn't affected me working out now because I kind of moved past it, and I felt that going back to the gym helped me grow through it. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not probably never gonna forget it, but you know, it just kind of left a scar. After working out, you wake up in the morning, you're sore. It's kind of like that. My my biceps are just a little sore after you know going through what I went through. And the only thing you do is kind of just deal with it and work on something else. Right now, now that I'm at a higher weight than I kind of anticipated, um, I'm gonna start cutting. So I kind of want to, that means I, I just want to drop my weight to 215 and I guess you'd say just get as shredded as possible. And I'll probably focus on school a lot more. Like my GPA this past semester was like 3.2 and I kind of want to shoot higher. I, mean, I know I can do a lot better than that. Probably my school, yeah, probably school work and work other than working out because I feel like those are only two other things I do besides go to the gym. Cause it's the time to find